Reporting live. Hey, yes, yes. Girl, please step back. I'm coming through. The bitch is back. New face got a lip. Since twice looking fit. Fresh dye 301. No mistake. I'm the one. Let me tell you what you're gonna do. Let me tell you what it's gonna take. Hit him with the bag. Hey guys, welcome back to Vice Versa. And today we are minding Teresa Romer's business and discussing some other minor tea that's out there. <laughs> so real quick, as you guys know, Shane Dawson recently released a video in which he talked about potential spirits or ghosts in his apartment, I mean, in his house. And ironically enough, it came at a time where he also is relaunching his merch and his cosmetic products under Jeffree Star, under Jeffree Star's company. That being said, as you may notice that that video did not have a sponsorship and most of his videos that he came out with over the last year, year and a half have had major sponsorships um, for those videos. So it's really interesting that the sponsorship that was not really a sponsorship that was not really noted in that video was his merch line, was his cosmetics line with Jeffree Star. So I thought that was some like funny cute tea right there, that uh, cute marketing plan for um, Jeffree Star. That being said, it looks like Teresa Romer, Teresa Romer's house, the house of Teresa Romer, has some news, has some news. And she had recently this to say. Back when my closet became famous, I wanted to do a talk show in my closet called Conversations in the Closet. And quite a few years, we tried, we struggled, we worked at it, um, and it just never seemed to come to fruition. So a few years ago, I started my own radio show called Conversations in the Closet. And the gentleman that I worked with at the radio station um, left that radio station, so I left with him. I didn't want to be a part of that radio station without him. So now that same gentleman is now part of his TV station here in Houston, and he has approached me and asked if I would like to bring my talk show to fruition with this TV network. So she is like extremely excited about having, or potentially having a TV show now, that was once a radio show that will now be produced in her closet that will be aired on a small local TV station in, I believe it's Houston, Texas. I think NTV, it's called NTV, is a local news or local news station. She's very excited and she's, you know, hitting all of her goals and congratulations, Teresa. Um, I thought you were aiming for I thought she was aiming for, um, you know, national TV, you know, like the Bravos or NBC, you know, Fox, Fox, no Tino no shade, Fox, <laughs> given, given what she has done um, throughout the past and represented it on her platforms in regards to COVID, as well as the Black Lives Matter movement, which will also speak real shortly on as well in this video. So now that the pleasant the pleasantries so now that the pleasantries and the congratulations that were in order have been expressed in this video, let's move on to the serious topics. So it looks like there is trouble in Teresa Romer's camp because her assistant had this to say. You wanna come here and tell the viewers what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I think this has been on your mind for a while. Hey, Pete. <laughs> so, are you asking me? So, I, I said you came to work this morning. Mm -hmm. mm. Fresh new haircut. Mm. Finally, I look somewhat decent on here. You know, crazy. <laughs> so, um, Fab came to work this morning and has told me that he wants to really pursue his goals mm -hmm. 100%. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but I quit. Not 50% anymore. Um, you know, and the great thing is, is we've had two fabulous years. Fabulous years. Two. Stunning. Two fabulous years. Done so much. Yeah. And we know the haters are already going to come out and yeah. come for you or come for me. Yeah. And probably say I did something wrong or <laughs> <laughs> Literally, but it's, it's not even like that. It's just you get a feeling when you just need to change up your routine and you need to go into a new venture and 
you know, you can't be in the same place forever and you shouldn't want to be in the same place forever. Well, some people can be. <laughs> I don't I don't know how they No, can I don't be. I don't either. I don't either. But noted in that video, you can see Fab is out. Fab is dipping out. He's evacuating. He is terminating business relationships with Teresa Romer and he is on the way out. Now, according to that piece that you did see in that video, you do see that he's, you know, very nice about it. He's very professional about it. And the PR movement here is that he has decided that he wants to be an influencer. He is going to tackle his goals on YouTube as well as in regards to the makeup industry um, and, you know, do a bunch of other things that he did not explain in that video. But, you know, in my professional gossip opinion, in my professional gossip opinion, I think Fab was not getting paid enough. You know, I don't think Teresa was giving him top dollar because there's only a couple of reasons people leave their jobs. And that is because one, their manager, they're not a fan of their manager or leadership and they feel like the leadership is holding them back or not being leaders at all. Or in two, people only leave their jobs is because they're not making enough money and they're not being paid adequately. Adequately. <laughs> That being said, personal assistance here in New York City range from $65,000 all the way up to $130,000 a year. And I don't think Romer was paying him that. So in my professional opinion, professional gossip, allegedly, my conspiracy <laughs> is that Teresa wasn't paying him and that he calculated his numbers and said, hey, if I start doing this and that, I'll be making maybe twice or triple more than what I'm being paid here um, at Teresa Romer Incorporated Media. <laughs> Another thing that came up while I was organizing for this video is that Teresa Romer is acting a fool on Instagram. Acting a fool. Let me explain. According to this photo Teresa posted on her Instagram the other day, it is a very heavily photoshopped photo and it states, shopping is not a crime. New video in bio. And one comment came to my attention that I think was very grotesque was very insensitive and very disgusting in which she commented heavily under and this comment did say the only police officer that wouldn't kneel on somebody's neck period period the only officer that wouldn't kneel on somebody's neck period what how could you make a comment like that in today's environment? Why would that even run through your head? What makes you think that this is a comment even to, even to give attention to, Teresa? Like, she posted a smiley emoji under it. It is very insensitive, it's very grotesque. And whoever posted this comment, I mean, should be embarrassed. This is not cute. This is not cute. Teresa has continuously utilized COVID, the Black Lives Matter movement, for an avenue of to create content. This is not what you need to be creating content on. You need, if you want to create content on the Black Lives Matter movement, on civil rights, human rights, on the pandemic, do it so you can educate people with research and other items. Don't create shitty ass content like this. This is disgusting, disgusting. Having a closet is not a personality trait. Having photoshopped Louis Vuitton bags in front of a photoshopped Bentley is not a personality trait. Having money is not a personality trait. It's not a personality. Like, this is disgusting. This is, this is disgusting. I mean, what other words do, would anyone have to this? What other words? And the fact that she has left this comment on her Instagram and, 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 and left this comment on her Instagram and has supported the comment by replying to it is just grotesque. But, you know, to me, it just tells me, hey, she, just really, she really does not think that this movement, she really does not think that human rights is really a big deal for black citizens here in America. She, I, I, I don't think she really gives a damn about the movement and the revolution currently occurring because She's promoting such stupidity on her YouTube channel, on her Instagram page with the photo like that, and then supporting idiotic comments such as these. It's disgusting, it's disgusting. Like, seriously? Really? What? You're in your 50s, 60s, and this is how you act? I'm not... Anyways, anyways guys, Anyways, guys, 
I am out of here. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in regards to Teresa Romer, Shane Dawson's new launch or relaunch of his products and his video in support of that as a marketing tactic. Um, and be, Teresa, be more mindful how you're coming across because it's very offensive, very offensive. And I don't see why people would support such content. It doesn't take rocket science to see that this is not it. This is not it. This is not it. I'm out, guys. See you next time. Bye. Oh, she said, what? Oh, hey.